Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody. Or X Cody. How's it going today? Hopefully everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from inside or outside of the United States. I would love to know. Today's video, I have quite a crazy story about one of the times that I got caught smoking on school grounds. One of the only times where I got caught on school grounds and then ended up with in-school suspension, and this teacher was absolutely crazy. So this story took place when I was about 16 or 17, a junior in high school, so my third year of high school for all my European friends watching. And I remember specifically, there was a period of time where I just stopped giving a fuck. Like, I just didn't want to be at school. All I could think about was leaving school and smoking weed. This sounds like my entire high school experience, to be honest with you. But at the same time, this was like when I got extra, I don't give a fuck. Like this was, this was a period of time where every day I'd be trying to leave school, smoke weed, getting suspended left and right. The school was not having it, dude. It was like Armageddon, the end game of, <laughs> of my high school experience. Really quick before this video starts, I want to thank today's video sponsor. Huge thank you to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring a portion of this video, a product that I personally love and use on a daily basis. They've got over 30 styles to choose from. It holds up to 12 credit cards and it even has like a cash strap on the back. It's got RFID blocking technology that protects you from those spooky digital pickpocketers. They have over 50,000 five star reviews and a lifetime warranty if you guys are looking to replace that bulky wallet in the back of your pocket. And right now, you can save up to 40% by going to ridge.com slash Xcode. Once again, that's up to 40% off ridge.com slash Xcode. Check the link in the description for more information. And thank you to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring a portion of this video. And I remember sitting in class, legs shaking, fiending for a cigarette dude it was the worst smoking cigarettes like that addiction is terrible and being in school wanting to smoke not wanting to be there just wanting to smoke weed it was like a combination of like fuck this work i want to leave and go smoke dude it was like that attitude was the textbook definition of how i was in high school like fuck this dude let's go smoke cigs like it was i was a fucking fiend back then and i remember Getting that itch, dude. Getting the leg shake. Getting the fucking let's get the fuck out of here feeling. And I look over to someone who would be down for anything, dude. This was like one of the most wild kids in the school. They basically put all of the wild people, all of the wild kids in this high school, all into this like... I call it a special ed program because it was like really relaxed work. Like they didn't give us homework my whole high school experience. They didn't give us like any advanced work whatsoever and extra help. So I guess it would be considered a special ed program. Look at me trying to justify my special education. But listen, it was more so the kids who would not show up to school, who would be getting in trouble, just be causing havoc in the high school. And they put them all in this one fucking trailer in the back of the in the back of the high school next to the IT department so all these kids were wild along with me it was just like bad influences left and right we'd all just encourage the bad behavior half of the class would be kids just fucking with the teachers and just saying wild stuff it was a great honestly good time sometimes but I don't miss it whatsoever though I would never go back you know that like that oh would you go back 10 years and do it fuck that dude I look over to one of my friends he's he's an upperclassman one year ahead of me and he's got the nice whip his parents were flush with cash and got him like i don't i actually don't remember the car and i'm never i've never been a car person but it like it was one of those cars where you get in and you kind of sink into the seat all right it's had the nice fucking sound system one of my favorite cars ever to burn ride in other than the fact that this dude was pretty crazy and he'd fucking drive like a maniac he'd drive like a boston uber driver i look over to him and i'm like dude let's go smoke a cig and he's just like, yo, that's a great idea. Let's go do that. I got my car parked in the parking lot. Let's go. And I remember thinking to myself, like, wait, we're going to smoke on school grounds? Like, I was talking about leaving, dude. And he's like, nah, nah, because if we leave and come back, they're going to search us and shit. I can't get in trouble. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's go. That sounds better even. So we both agreed we were going to go to his car. And at the end of that period, like kind of the in-between classes period i think we used to call it passing or something me and him thinking we're slick dude thinking we're the pink panther we fucking slither out of the classroom go out the back door and just walk straight to his car like we we just didn't care i guess and on the other side of the trailer there's even windows so like the teachers could look out and see exactly where we were walking but honestly i think we got away 
I think everybody was distracted. We got away and he brought me to the car and it was like on the far end of the parking lot. Probably the best spot you could be if you wanted to do something like this. Absolutely not recommending anything I'm about to tell you guys about though. So we get into his car. It's dude, it's comfy as hell, man. I love that car and smoking in it. I remember pulling out a cigarette, that sweet relief of the fiend mode going away. And I look over to him. I'm like, dude, you want to smoke a bowl too? And he's just like, oh shit. I don't know, man. I'm going to get too high when I go back to school. Honestly, that was something I worried about every time I'd smoke weed and go back to school. But this day, dude, I didn't give a fuck. I took the bowl out. I used to carry around so much shit at school. I highly do not recommend that. I knew so many people in, in high school who got caught with weed at school and then got arrested, got a charge, got probation. Dude, it's just not worth it, man. I remember I had this like really shitty $20, $30 bowl from the smoke shop really cheap glass but it was like it had this red and blue spiral on it so fucking dope i packed like the weakest bowl ever probably just enough for like one hit of each of us we both got blasted we started finishing the cigarette 20 minutes must have gone by like we we overdid it this is something this is an activity that you'd want to be as quick as possible you'd want to get back to class before they even realized you were gone this passing period was maybe three, five minutes, just enough time for kids to get to classroom to classroom. We were gone for like 20 minutes, dude. We're sitting there baked because one hit would both get us really high back then. We had low tolerances, just like now, honestly. I took a Benjamin City hit at the beginning of this video and I am fried as hell right now, dude. Wake and bake. I remember I was getting real close to the end of the cigarette, real fucking close. The end was in sight and then I hear the the tap on the window, dude. The tap on the fucking window. And I, I have everything in my pockets, thankfully. The bowl's away. The weed's away. I maybe had like a gram on me. I look over to my friend before I even look at the tap on the window. I look at him and I just see his face, dude. <laughs> he's, he's fucking, oh my god, I'm about to get arrested type of look on his face. The deer in headlights. The eyes wide as dinner plates. And who is it, dude? Who is it? It's like the military cut kind of like boss person of the special ed program they were in and he would like oversee everything and he's just he's looking down on us with the disappointment face like come on boys let's go back to class and we get out of the car and he must have just got a wave a wave of skunk and cigarettes and he's just like you know i gotta bring it to the office now that you smell like smoke guys come on you can't be doing this on school grounds what are you thinking man you guys should be at school right now it, he was pretty nice I say military cut because I think he literally was in some form of military. Like we get out of the car, dude, the walk of shame back into the school. And I'm like bugging out in my head. This is one of the first times I actually was high at school other than like the afterburn of the one gram joints I used to smoke at the bus stop. Once you consumed the bacon, egg and cheese or the sausage, egg and cheese when you got to school. Actually, they didn't have bacon my junior year. Fucking Michelle Obama took that away, dude. Freshman year was lit for school, but then then she ruined all the school lunches, man. Not a good time. That was terrible. Fucking whole wheat chicken patties. Come on, dog. What was I even talking about? How did I get to that? But I did only take like a baby hit, so I wasn't like 10 out of 10 stoned. I think at this point, I was flipping buds, so I just had an absurd amount every day, and I'd just be able to smoke grams after gram with my friends and... It got, this was like a period of time where I could actually smoke a lot. I'm sure the quality of the bud that I was getting wasn't anywhere near the dispensary quality, but I could smoke more then than now, to be honest with you. But I'm mostly freaking out because I not only have weed in my pocket, I have a bowl that had just been smoked out of. That is probably the smelliest shit in the world. On top of it, you know it wasn't clean. All right, this is back then I would be like scraping the bowl. I'd never clean it with alcohol. I didn't even know that was a thing back then. I thought that was like just for bongs. Disgusting, dude. Clean your glass it's every couple days even, dude. It gets it gets gnarly in there. Well, those were the resin days, dude. Those are the days where we run out of weed and then the plug would be like, yeah, I got you next week, man. I'd be like, fuck, grab the, grab the paper clip, man. So I'm reeking up this hallway, dude. I'm fucking, I smell horribly like weed and cigarette dude the combination of the two it's like 10x you're, you're walking in the you're walking in that place smelling like cheech and chong visited the pool house man it's next level so he brings us over to the the vice principal principal's office like there's it was right next to each other and i'm just sitting there like i got the leg shake again i'm fucking bugging out dude i'm bugging out like this stuff is not hidden it's just straight up in my pocket 
and I'm thinking, oh God, here we go. I'm about to get arrested. But at the same time, I'm sitting there thinking all these other times where I have weed on me, they want to search me and I could just leave school. Take the suspension, dude. I always felt like that was the better option. So I had a little bit of confidence in me. I'm like, all right, well, if this really goes that bad, I'm going to just fucking dip. I'm going to just head out. All right. Like, why the fuck would I stay there and get a weed charge? Like, let's just leave. So I'm sitting there like, all right, I'm a little bit more calm now. The vice principal comes in. He takes my friend in there, dude. He saves me for last. He'd always do that, dude, because he always knew exactly what was going on, man. He always knew I had the weed or something. He brings my friend in there, takes his cigarettes. That was their classic fuck you move, dude. They catch you smoking cigs. They take your cigs and like break them one by one and put them in the trash in front of you. Dick move. All right. Dick move. So at this point, two security guards, the vice principal and the fucking uh, head of the special ed program was in there. And then they come out for me. My friend leaves after his, his cigarettes were broken. And they all just come with me into the room. And the moment I sit down in the chair, the vice principal's like, you smell like weed and cigarettes, man. Where's the weed? Do you have any on you? And I'm sitting there like, no, of course I don't. I just want to get back to class. And everybody in the room's like, Cody, you know the rules. If you get caught smoking on school grounds, we got to search you. And I'm sitting there like, no, you don't have to do that, man. Like, I, I could just go back to class. I'm fine. I was just smoking a cigarette. I only had one on me. And the moment they said, all right, you're going to want to empty your pockets. The moment they get to that point, they were stuck on it. There was no budging. There was no going back. And they just repeated, no, the, you know the rules, Cody. If you get caught smoking, we got to search you before you go back to class. And I'm just like, well, I don't consent to any searches. And they're like, you don't really have the right to say that. You're at school, buddy. And I'm like, well, I don't consent to any searches. And you can't do anything about it. And I just stood up and walked out of the school, dude. Walked out, went across the street, smoked a cig and realized, wow, this is fucked. This is a really bad situation. And I walked all the way home from there. This was the days before Uber. Don't even talk. Don't even try with me in the comments. Listen, I would have fucking loved that shit. Even though I think you need to be 18 to have an account, right? Anyways, that shit was lit. That shit would have been lit, man. There were so many times where I totally would have paid the money for a ride. But this time was one of those days, dude, where I had to walk all the way home, dude. It was terrible. And the whole time I'm sitting there bugging out, thinking a police officer is going to pull up behind me and, and say exactly what they said at the fucking principal's office. Like, you got weed on you. Like, what's going on? So I, was, I have the right to search you. Probable cause, man, or something like that. And then take me back to school. I was bugging out. But I made it all the way home miraculously. And I get a call from my dad, dude. I get a call from my dad. He got one of those dreaded calls at work saying Cody left school, caught smoking, he's suspended, all that, all that jazz. I think I got like one or two days of out of school suspension and then like a week of in school suspension, which wasn't the end of the world. The end school, the out of school suspension, obviously, it was fucking awesome. I just play Halo 3 or RuneScape or something. Sometimes my dad would be a dick and take the router. <laughs> He'd take the whole fucking router to work with him, but I don't remember exactly this time what happened there. My dad obviously was not thrilled to get the call at work about that. He most certainly was not very chill about it, but at the same time, he was chill. Like, he was, he was, he was very chill during my high school years, but I put him through hell with stress, for sure. And my friend that I was with, considering he had nothing on him and he literally was just smoking that one cigarette that i gave him he just got in school suspension for getting caught smoking on school grounds because me leaving and refusing search was like a whole nother level to this so they had to give me that out of school and a week of in school i think he only got a couple days of in school suspension so when i got back i i was in the in school suspension which was basically where you just go to one room like one designated room and you're there all day. You even like go up with that teacher, get the lunch and bring it back there. You're basically just isolated from everybody else. And for the first two years of my high school experience, I don't know why I've said that, said it like that. The two years, the first two years of high school, uh, the teacher that was in the in-school suspension was chill as fuck, dude. We'd sit there just having great conversations all day. It was honestly better than being in normal school. And I can see why they, they, made someone else go in there my junior year and senior year they brought another guy that was ex-military but this guy must have been like a sergeant or something he must have been like high up in the in the military ranks he had the signature 
big ass mustache that covers your entire upper lip get that mean look on him dude he just it even talked really professional like this and he was definitely not on the same level of chill as the first in school suspension teacher but he also had a shit ton of stories but like they were old head stories dude yeah <laughs> they they there was some of them were entertaining but it was like entertaining because you just had nothing else to do like i didn't have any homework there was barely any work for me to do for the special ed program so i'd be done maybe a fourth of the way of the of the day and then i'd be sitting there and the first in school suspension teacher would let you go on the laptops i'd be watching skate videos because i had this like vpn i don't know if it was I think it was like a, a tunnel website or something so you could go on and then from there you could go on to youtube and it would like bypass the school block it was lit dude cool math games and mini clip those were the days man but this guy dude the new guy would not let me go on the laptop unless i'd be doing work and he'd, he'd get up every like five minutes and look around with his hands behind his back you know just what are you doing there? So this is where the story gets funny, man. It was towards the very last period of the day, and me and my friend had that leg shake, sig fiend mode. We were, it's all we were talking about is how awesome this cigarette's about to be, where we're gonna smoke across the street before the buses show up. Well, he had his car, but I was, I was talking about before the buses going, going on, but we were fucking fiending. And the, the in school suspension teacher was not having it. He's like, guys, stop talking about smoking. <laughs> But it's all we could think about, dude. It's all we were talking about. And I don't know what inspired this. I don't know what the fuck my friend was thinking. But he pulls out the pack of cigarettes and puts one in his mouth. And he looks over to the in-school suspension teacher and, like, flicks his lighter in front of it. And he's just like, I'm gonna just smoke this right here, man, okay? Like, is that all right with you? Clearly knowing the answer was no. And you just see the, the, the rage in his face. He gets up and he's just like, what do you think you're doing? You, you can't smoke in school. What do you think? You're, are, you, are you trying to play a joke right now? You're not funny at all. My friend like sits back down in his chair, and, like whips the cigarette into his pocket. And he's just like, come on, man. I just wanted to smoke a cig, dude. Get, like gets back into that. I don't give a fuck attitude. He walks over to the desk and he fucking looks at him in the face. He's like got his hands on the desk and he's like, do you think this is a joke? Do you think having cigarettes at on school grounds is okay? That's against the rules. Give me your cigarettes. And he's like, nah, 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 nah. I'm 18. I'm old enough for this. Because he was a senior. And he's like, you can't take my cigs, man. And I think they, like, at the time, couldn't as long as you didn't get caught smoking at school. There was some weird rule. And this guy gets next level mad. He takes both hands on the side of the desk. It's one of those desks with the metal bar that connects to the seat. He takes the whole desk with the kid in it, lifts it off the ground. I never want to see you with cigarettes on school grounds ever again and slams the desk down. My friend's like, dude, what are you doing, bro? You're crazy. This dude had gray hairs. Like the mustache was half gray. He pulls out the strength of 30 years ago lifts the whole desk up man i'm sitting there dying laughing i'm like holy fuck this teacher went crazy bro this teacher went crazy i think he was like oh i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell the vice principal on you all this shit he never ended up saying anything but we were just bluffing but i thought it was fucking hilarious so the day finally ended we went across the street smoked the cig he had a story to tell everybody dude he just opened his mouth to everybody at the fucking at, it was like a tree stump we'd go and smoke cigs and one of the people the one of the people there was the gossip like king dude you tell him anything and the whole school would know this was the same dude from when i got robbed at gunpoint and i called one of my good friends and he was at a party with this guy right next to him and he told him and then the next day at school the whole school knew dude i was i went <laughs> it was before school i went and smoked a cig at the very same tree spot and this girl comes up to me and was like i'm so sorry to hear what happened give me a hug like dude <laughs> i didn't tell anybody except my one friend and the whole school knew this was the same kid it was like music to his ears and by the end or by the start of next the next day the whole school was talking about it. The in-school suspension teacher even got even got in trouble for it. I think he still had the position at the in-school suspension, believe it or not. But like someone else swapped out for him for the, the last couple days that I was there. Not a very chill person at all. They had no stories. They didn't talk at all. They wouldn't let me on the laptops. Terrible time. 
so it's hard for me to really give you advice on this on this situation where you're at school you get caught they're like empty your pockets it's hard for me to give you any advice because i know things have changed substantially since god it's been 10 years since i was in high school bro okay eight years all right listen it's been eight years not 10 listen i'm not that old yet all right listen i would probably say it's better to leave school and take the suspension than get the weed taken from you getting a, a weed charge probation and then getting suspended at the same time like it just never seemed like a, a smart idea to me to go with the flow and fucking empty your pockets but like at the same time i feel like a lot of schools have the the school resource officer now that is something they implemented shortly after this happened not because of me obviously but that's just something they they put in the school so i feel like if you were to leave school that cop is gonna come looking for you so it's hard for me to tell you to do that but i feel like in any capacity it's probably a better thing to do because like you don't want to get probation dude that's the number one reason that i tell you not to bring weed to school or anything weed related because getting on probation is fucking annoying you can't smoke weed for an extended period of time you got to do drug tests i know you're not gonna you're not gonna fucking care you're gonna take the drug test and thinking you, you have enough time for the next one and then they're gonna give you that random one you're gonna get fucked they're gonna extend the period of your probation you get caught in the, the legal system it's fucking stupid dude just i have absolutely no idea how I got away with it so many times. I was so bold about bringing weed to school. I'd have an eighth bagged up in grams and just stuff it in the back of my like sweatshirt. Uh, there was like a, I had a sweatshirt with a hole in it and I would just like put it in the back, reeking up every time I'd go into school, like at the beginning of the day, they would spray me down with Febreze because they thought I just smoked a bunch of weed before I came to school. But I had weed on me. Like there was sometimes I'd bring like a quarter or a half in my backpack. There was a couple times where like upperclassmen would look at me like, dude, you got to leave school. Like you smell way too strong, man. You bought way too much weed. So obviously I'm not trying to tell you to do anything crazy, but if you're ever in that situation, I, I probably think leaving is a better option, man. And now you got the Uber app. Maybe, I don't know, fucking, maybe your parents are cool. It'd be like, dude, I'm about to get arrested. Just hit me up with an Uber home real quick. I don't know. Maybe not. It doesn't sound like something that would happen. Let me know if you guys have any stories somewhat similar to this. I feel like a lot of you guys smoking weed, watching this have gotten caught at school or something. This was definitely a longer story i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like on it if you did man likes have been way down come on dog just just do it all right helps the channel grow trying to get that 1 million subs and i'm also curious to hear what your opinion is dude do you think leaving school is like a viable option in that scenario or is it like they'll call the cops on you you know like one of those it's been a while since i was in high school i'm honestly curious how it is now I've, i can only assume that year after year the the rules get more and more strict guest appearance real quick for the outro i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i hope to see you guys in the next one stay high stay lifted and stay snazzy peace